y'all welcome back to my channel uh, for those that don't know me my name is Belair I'm very happy to have y'all here so today I'm gonna go ahead and do a video I'm um, doing a look with the new Norvina palette just kind of wanted to sit down and play with it hadn't really gotten a chance to get my hands into it yet so hopefully y'all like it before we get started, of course, just want to remind y'all to please subscribe. Be more than happy to have y'all here watching my videos. As always, if you do subscribe, make sure to hit the little bell button down below so you get notified when I upload a new video. If you do like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It'd be much appreciated. Also, please make sure to follow me on all social media platforms. They will be listed in the description box down below. And yeah, that's about it. Again, this is our look for today. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. But we're going to go ahead and apply the color base all over the lid, you know, as a base. Imagine that. Um, one thing I did notice while I was working with the palette, it is kind of powdery. There is a slight amount of kickback within the pan, um, but I do kind of expect that with any Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes at this point. So, nothing too serious. I love their products, their eyeshadow palettes. I have all the ones that have come out over the last few years. Um, it's definitely a staple in my makeup collection. If one comes out, I have to get it. So now that we went in with base, we're going to take a Morphe E27 brush. Just a fat blending brush. And go in with the color Incense. It's going to be our transition shade. And we'll just take that all in the crease. And we just want to do windshield wiper motions back and forth throughout our crease. Always make sure you tap off the excess when you go back in the pan. We do kind of want to take it a little bit above our crease as well because we are going to go in with a few other colors in our crease. Okay, so now that that is taken care of, we are going to go in with a Morphe M441 with the color Soul. This is really pretty purpley, lavender kind of color. It does come off a little bit darker on the eye than it does look in the pan, so just be aware of that. And we're going to go ahead and put this on our outer V and bring that into the crease. Kind of want to bring it about halfway here. And we're just going to blend that in. If you do have any harsh lines or edges, you can go back in with the previous brush, the E27 from Morphe, and just kind of Blend those two colors together. You don't have to add any additional product onto the brush. We're just going to use that to soften out the edges of our soul color here. Um, we are going to go now in with the color Love. It's this really pretty light pinky shade. And same brush, the Morphe M441. And we're going to go ahead and put that all right in here our inner corner and we're going to connect it over to the shade love and just kind of buff those two colors together um, if y'all were curious I do have lash extensions on I did do them myself so if you are wanting a video on how to do your own lash extensions let me know in the comment section down below and I'd be more than happy to go ahead and do a video about that Gonna go take a little bit more of that love shade. I really like this pinky color. I'll be perfect. 
Now we are doing a cut crease, so you do want to make sure that there's enough of this in the crease and a little bit above just to ensure that um, when we do cut the crease, you can still see the shadows. It's nice and blended out. We're going to go ahead then and cut our crease. So I'm going to take a little concealer brush here. I don't, it doesn't have a name. Sorry. It's just a little concealer brush. And we are going to take some Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And get a little dab of it. Now, I would suggest trying to keep your eye as closed as possible until you do set the lid. Unless you want to go in with a wet um, concealer. Okay, so our crease is cut. I'm going to go in and take my little e.l.f. brush. I talked about this brush last video. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. I've had it forever. I'm surprised it still says e.l.f. And we're going to set the eye with our NYX HD Finishing Powder in Translucent. And just kind of dab that over the eye here. Okay. Now that the eye is set, we're going to go ahead and get started on our shadows here. We're going to go in with the color Dreamer here. It's this really kind of shimmery gold champagne-y color. Um, we're going in with a BH Cosmetics number no. 9 brush. And we're just going to place that right in here. This color, guys, is so pretty. It does not require you to wet your brush. It is gorgeous. So we really only want to come about that far with the champagne color, uh, Dreamer is the shade name. And now that we're done with that, we are going to go ahead and wet our brush just a smidge. Just a smidge. And we're going to go in with this pink shimmer called a Wild Child. I was really excited about this color. And we're just going to go ahead and place that in the center of our lid here. Now be careful because Wild Child is a little crumbly. Um, but it's a really pretty shade. So you kind of just want to pack it on there. Even add some more over here while we're at it. Almost dropped the palette, guys. Life was about to be over. So now that we are done with Wild Child, we're gonna go ahead into this really pretty purpley shimmer. Me and this mirror are about to have some problems. Try, uh, I'm really trying to not blind y'all. I promise. Um, and <laughs> this color is celestial. And this one is slightly crumbly as well, so just be aware of that. And we're going to put this out here on our outer V. We're going to switch brushes. Um, I had to do this earlier because Wild Child, for some reason, I'm not sure. It doesn't really pick up on that brush. So we're going to go in with our Memphi Morphe M213 brush. And pick up some of Wild Child and go back in. Not Wild Child Celestial. My bad, guys. There we go. That's better. And you kind of want to just bring Celestial 
out towards where we're going to have our wing. And we'll go back in here. I always want to make sure that these shadows do blend together. We want more of a gradient rather than just a pop of color, pop of color, pop of color. So we're going to go back in with a little bit of Wild Child and just kind of dab that over Celestial here for us. If you do get a little bit of fallout, it's okay. You can wipe it off. I'm going to go in with the color Dreamer again and kind of mix that into Wild Child and blend those two together. If you do get some of the glitter up here above your cut crease, that's fine. We're going to go in and define the crease shade in just a little bit, so no worries. Okay, so I think we are done with the lid shades. We're just going to go in and define the crease shades real quick before I put on some liner. Um, we're going to go in with our Morphe E36 brush, and we're going to go back in with that shade Soul. Just a little bit on the tip of the brush, and we're just going to define that crease. And we'll go back into the shade Love with the same brush. <sighs> And same thing. We just want to make sure that there is a distinctive difference between your crease and your lid. So now that we have our crease defined, I'm going to go ahead and take the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I do like this liner a lot, actually. It's really easy. To do a wing and I'm not the best at wings so for me to say something makes doing a wing easier sweet baby Jesus so now that we have our a wing on we're gonna go ahead and take a Morphe M432 brush and we're going to go in with the color Passion over here. It's kind of a burgundy brownish shade, I would say. And we're just going to stamp that along our lash line. that stamped on our lash line we're gonna go ahead with a BH Cosmetics number seven brush um, we're gonna go back in with incense yeah incense um, and just kind of put that along the bottom lash line below the passion color just to slightly smoke it out And then I'll go back in, just touching up the side a little bit, making sure everything is cohesive. And we're going to go back in with Passion just to make sure that you can really see that color. So now that we have the bottom lash line done, we're going to go in with the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in the shade Kitten. It's, I guess it came out like a year or so ago, and it's kind of like a putty, like you can see my fingerprints. When I saw this at Ulta, the inner kid in me came out. Y'all can ask my friend. She was with me. I needed it. Like, no lie. I needed it in my life. But anyway. We're going to go in with a BH Cosmetics number 10 brush and we're going to take this highlighter here and just place that in our intercointer 
into your corner, guys. Into your corner. And we're also going to place it on our brow bone. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and add some lower lash mascara. Um, of course, we're going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. This is my favorite lower lash line mascara. Just want to give these bottom lashes a little bit of definition. So, we are done with that. I'm going to go ahead and finish my face off camera. And then, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I did go ahead and, like I said, finish the rest of my face off camera. Uh, this is our finished look for today using the new Norvina palette. I'm really happy I had a chance to go ahead and play with this palette, get my hands on it. Overall, I do really like the palette. Like I said, there is a slight amount of kickback and some of the shimmers are slightly crumbly. But all in all, I think it is worth the money. I'm glad I went out and bought it. Like I said, Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes are a staple in my collection. But yeah, so this is our finished look. And I thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all so much. You have no idea. And I will see everybody in my next video. Bye, guys.